did you know that there is a model that can take a single prompt and turn it into a model to match large language model performances and it runs locally it's called prompt to model literally you give it a prompt and it converts it to a deployable ready model just take a look at this example now in this example we can see that a user inputs a prompt description of answer questions given context from a relevant wikipedia article and from this it generates an output utilizing prompt to model where it retrieves the data generates the data as well as retrieving the pre-trained models to create the model of the singular prompt that is given now we can see that it generates an output of a deployable ready model that is ready to answer questions and give context context to what you have asked it to create now in this case it seems to have created a model which the, it gives it the context awareness towards audio and speech processing needs as lpc is for that type of requirement or that category now prompt the model is basically a system in which it takes natural language tasks descriptions to train a small special purpose model that is a conductive resource for deployment now this is an efficient cheap way for you to create models so it doesn't require heavy api cost and it's something that is currently being worked upon to become an open source alternative as they're looking towards hosting it off a free model now throughout today's video we're going to be looking more in depth as to what you can actually do with prompt to model by showcasing what you can actually do with it as well as understanding the architecture and lastly we'll also be going over how you can install it and play around with this model so with that thought let's get straight into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai before i talk a little bit more about the architecture as well as understanding this model i'm going to be showcasing how you can install it so we can get straight into it and work with it as we talk and understand more about this model so first things first you're going to need to have a couple of things ready before we install this you're going to need git which is the first application we'll be needing to help clone this repository onto our computer secondly you will need python You'll need Visual Studio Code as well to tweak and edit the API keys that are needed. And lastly, you'll need a functioning API key from OpenAI with a connected billing account. So once you have these four things ready, we can get to the next step of the video where we'll start installing. So what I want you guys to do first is go on to Prompto Model Repository. And what I want you guys to do first is click on this green button over here. And I want you guys to copy the link of the repository. Now, once you have done this, I want you guys to open up command prompt. Now, once you have done this, type in git clone and paste the link of the repository. Now, I'll leave this link for the repository in the description below. But once you have pasted this, you can click enter and it'll start cloning the repository onto your desktop. Now, once it has finished doing this, I'll be right back. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can get amazing features, definitely check out the Patreon page in the link in the description below. And if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, to stay up to date with the latest AI trends, definitely give this a follow. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. So with that thought, let's get straight back into the video. Once it has fin finished cloning, you can easily just copy this uh, pip install prompt and what you can do now is go into this actual prompt to model folder and this is by typing in cd prompt to model click enter then paste this pip install prompt and click enter now it will start installing the repository uh, by deep like at basically installing the dependencies for the application so it's functional so once it's finished installing everything that's required i'll be right back now guys, once you have finished installing the environment as well as the dependencies that are required to run this application, we'll be now setting the environment variable for our OpenAI API key. And this is by inputting this API key within the prompt to model. Now, what you need to do next is open up your command prompt, stay within the prompt to model file. Now, if you have a Windows computer, you can easily just export, type, easily just copy this command over here paste it into command prompt now change the your key and input your key over there now if you guys do not have an, a mac os operating system and if you have a windows then you easily just need to keep it as set instead of export so in this case i said i just wrote set open ai underscore api underscore key equals my api key and you just click enter now once this is set you can easily just close this 
if you're going to be running it on command prompt you can keep this open and just be easily just copy this code over here and paste it into command prompt and click enter but there's another way of running this and this is through visual studio code and what you need to do is open up visual studio code now i already had this opened up beforehand but basically what you need to do is open up a new uh window you can just do this and you can just click on open folder and then open up the prompt to model file now once this folder is opened up you can easily start running it by going onto the demo python file and this is where they had stated that you just run this so what you need to do is easily just click on this play button and you're able to fully install and run this application now it's easy as that guys and I, you can see over here if your environment wasn't set you can just paste your api key over here so it's easy as that guys and that's how you can actually run prompt to model locally on your desktop now let's get to the next step of the video where i'll be showcasing a couple of demos as well as what prompt to model architecture is really about now guys as we talked about the start prompt to model is this new innovative system and it's designed to streamline the process of creating specialized machine learning models for deployment you're easily able to do this from a single prompt which we saw earlier and we'll be taking a look at a couple demos later on in the video now we've seen traditional approaches in which it involves training large and resource intensive models whereas prompt to model takes a different route and it operates by utilizing different natural language task descriptions which are similar to prompts used in language models such as ChatGPT, for example now this task description serves as a guiding input and it helps the ai outline the specific functionalities and objectives the model needs to fulfill now this is through a sophisticated training process where prompt to model constructs a compact purposeful model tailored to the defined task now we can see from this approach that it's not only optimized for efficiency but it also minimizes necessary computational overhead which saves you a lot in api costs now this is something that is definitely going to be developed upon and it's going to be used to eliminate the need for large-scale APIs as it results to a cost-effective and accessible solution. So definitely check this out in the link in the description below. Now we'll get to the next step of the video where I'll showcase a small little demo as to how you can use prompt to model. We can see in Visual Studio Code, once you have opened the Python file that is required to start up this demo, it asks you, are you ready to start? And in this case, you enter a description of what you want to do the model to create in this case it gives it a task your task is to generate an answer to a natural question and this task the input is a string that consists of both question and context passage the context is a descriptive passage related to the question and contains the answer and that question can range from math cultural social geometry biology history sports technology science and so on now it then gives the answers in an input prompt in in which it gives the different questions that are needed for the task and the description for it to create this model in which it can answer these types of questions and we can see as you go forward it then starts retrieving the models as well as the natural language queries that are needed to create this model and we can see at the end it then creates the model in which it utilizes different types of data sets in which it trains the model to be based off creating outputs off of now if you go later on in the video i believe it gives the model trainer the model model evaluator and lastly we can see that it gives an interactive demo in which you can deploy this whole model onto a chatbot so you can basically ask it questions related to the task or the input and it's able to give you that generated output which is definitely super super helpful for people who want to create easy chatbots or for people who simply just want to create a small model with lower api cost usage so definitely really useful useful and cost effective as this is something that can help you create different types of small models from a single prompt now this is what i love about these types of models you're able to create so much with it's just a single prompt and it's super helpful and it's a great way for you to train these small specific like specific special models so now we'll get to the next step of the video by talking a little bit more about some of the tips and examples that are needed to write a good prompt to help you create the best model. Now we'll be focusing on the tips and examples to write a good prompt. Now, this is something that is necessary for crafting an effective prompt that is essential for guiding the model's behavior and generating accurate 
like outputs firstly you need to have clear instructions which is stated over here the exact format description for the input and output should be clarified and this is where you begin with the prompt with in which you give it a clear and concise instruction which outlines the task that you want the model to perform it needs to be very specific and it should follow a format that you expect the input and output to follow for example you can give it an instruction in which you want it to generate a paragraph summarizing certain types of disadvantages or advantages for a topic Secondly, you need to focus on the exact content of each part of the input and the relationship as possible as you can. And this is by giving it few shot examples. You include these few shot examples to illustrate the desired output format so that it can provide the model the concise instances of what you're trying to look for. Now, they give a very descriptive example of these good types of prompts and how you can format it. So if you're looking towards creating prompts for small models, definitely take a, take a look at this uh, demo or this outline on how you can write these examples. Now, lastly, you have where the step in which you format the description and this is something that we saw with the demo video in which they give it a really descriptive description of what you want the model to output with the input. And this is where you specify the expected format for both the inputs as well as the outputs. And it basically clarifies how the information should be structured towards you. It's similar to how a data set is structured in which you give it an input and set up the different columns that are needed to format the output from the generative AI. And that's basically a concise example and tips as to how you can write good prompts as this is very crucial for generating the models as it's something you use a small little prompt to create a large model. So you need to make sure that you specify these formats so you can get the best output generated from this AI. So definitely take a look at this with the link in the description below. And lastly, we'll be taking a look at how you can actually understand the architecture of this model. As we saw at the start, the architecture of prompt to model revolves around transforming different types of natural language task descriptions into specialized deployable models. So it first begins with the user input, which is the prompt that outlines the desired functionality of the model. Now this prompt serves as the blueprint of what is going to be created from the containing detailed instructions. Now what it does is that it formats the description for inputs as well as the outputs and it then gives the possible answers to few shot examples. Now this system then employs a training process that leverages this prompt to deploy the compact task specific model. So then the model then is designed to comprehend the basic provided instructions and examples by enabling it to generate accurate outputs that are aligned to the specialized task which we can see over here that it retrieves the data generates the data and then retrieves the pre-trained models that are required to fulfill the prompt and we can see that it later gives the output of a deployable ready model in which achieves the best scores for the prompt that is needed and this basic architecture showcases that it's a great approach to develop models and it simplifies the creation of the specialized models for various different tasks now that's basically it for today's video and i hope you got a lot of knowledge out of today's video guys as this is an amazing project that could be very scalable and you even developed to do a lot of greater things as it's basically something that is very cost effective and very very useful for a lot of people so i'll leave all these links in the description below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you got some sort of value throughout today's video make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly make sure you subscribe turn notification bell like the video as well as check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas